Here you go. Pad Thai, no peanuts. Does it have peanut oil? I'm not sure. Everyone keep an eye on Howard in case he starts to swell up. Since it's not bee season, you can have my epinephrine. Are there any chopsticks? You don't need chopsticks. This is Thai food. Here we go. Thailand has had the fork since the latter half of the 19th century. Interestingly, they don't actually put the fork in their mouth. They use it to put the food on a spoon, which then goes into their mouth. Ask him for a napkin. I dare you. I'll get it. Do I look puffy? I feel puffy. Hey, Leonard. Oh, hi, Penny. Am I interrupting? No. You're not swelling, Howard. No, no, look at my fingers. They're like Vienna sausages. Sounds like you have company. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> so you're coming home from work. That's great. How was work? Well, you know, it's a cheesecake factory. People order cheesecake, and I bring it to them. So you kind of act as like a carbohydrate delivery system. <laughs> Call it whatever you want. I get minimum wage. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, I was wondering if you could help me out with something. I'm yes. kind of. Oh. Okay, great. I'm, I'm having some furniture delivered tomorrow, and I may not be here, so. Oh. Hello. Tio Tinkrasi Vaya Javushka. I'm sorry? Haven't you ever been told how beautiful you are in flawless Russian? <laughs> no, I haven't. Get used to it. <laughs> I probably won't. But... Hey, Sheldon. Hi. Hey, Raj. Still not talking to me, huh? Don't take it personally. It's his pathology. He can't talk to women. He can't talk to attractive women, or in your case, a cheesecake-scented goddess. So there's going to be some furniture delivered? Yeah, yeah. If it gets here and I'm not here tomorrow, could you just uh, sign for it and have them put them in my apartment? Yeah, no problem. Great. Here's my spare key. Thank you. Honey, wait. Um, if you don't have any other plans, do you want to join us for Thai food in a Superman movie marathon? A marathon? Wow, how many Superman movies are there? You're kidding, right? <laughs> you know, I do like the one where Lois Lane falls from the helicopter and Superman swooshes down and catches her. Which one was that? One. <laughs> you realize that scene was rife with scientific inaccuracy. <sighs> yes, I know, men can't fly. No, no, let's assume that they can. <laughs> Lois Lane is falling, accelerating at an initial rate of 32 feet per second per second. Superman swoops down to save her by reaching out two arms of steel. Miss Lane, who is now traveling at approximately 120 miles an hour, hits them and is immediately sliced into three equal pieces. Unless Superman matches her speed and decelerates. In what space, sir? In what space? She's two feet above the ground. You know, frankly, if he really loved her, he'd let her hit the pavement. It'd be a more merciful death. Excuse me. Your entire argument is predicated on the assumption that Superman's flight is a feat of strength. Are you listening to yourself? It is well established that Superman's flight is a feat of strength. It is an extension of his ability to leap tall buildings, an ability he derives from exposure to Earth's yellow sun. And you don't have a problem with that? How does he fly at night? A, a combination of the moon's solar reflection and the energy storage capacity of Kryptonian skin cells. I'm just gonna go wash up. I have 2,600 comic books in there. I challenge you to find a single reference to Kryptonian skin cells. Challenge accepted. We're locked out. Also, the pretty girl left. Our whole universe was 